sweating, girl. I wanna see you sweat. Hey guys, it's your girl Caprice, your host for Come Chat with Me, Real Talk, Real Music. Our featured artist today is Rick Roots. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I feel welcome. You see me? So big up everybody who I watch Come Chat with Me TV. You see me? Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into it. It's no secret that you come from a family full of musicians. Right. You tell everyone about it. All right. Well, if everybody's big on subconscious, them say soap, soap, soap. You understand? My brothers are conscience and they're from the subconscious from it. So. Who oh, don't see it? Just look on my face. <laughs> you see me? So yeah, um, music, music, pretty much in our blood from a long time. So it's only natural for, for, for me to follow suit, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And for our viewers who don't know what kind of music you're into, explain that for them. Into as in what I'm doing? What you're doing. Alright, so, so basically, um, I'm doing a more, a more, um, international type of um, dance hall and reggae, you know? It's more of a, a flavor of pop added to it. Okay. So, you know, so like when, when the when the crossover movements need to be made, mm -hmm. it's like an easy transition. So it's like appeal to everybody. We appeal to the, the Caucasians, the, the, the European name, the American name, the Caribbean, Jamaican, so my music is for everybody. Is there a reason why you're here in the U.S. as opposed to being in Jamaica? Well, um, I live here pretty much. I've been here. Okay. I've, I've been here for like four years now. So you know, but I frequent back and forth in Jamaica because you know I have a family. Okay. You understand? My grandmother lives in um, Jamaica, but yeah, we frequent back and forth, and it's not as if like doing music for me right now is necessary to be mm -hmm. in Jamaica to do the music. No, music, okay. uh, music is everywhere. So if I'm here. It's more so just a different taste to the business thing, mm -hmm. you know? So it's all good. I live in Jersey, actually, so. Oh, Jersey, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, as far as the family, mm -hmm. do you feel like you face certain obstacles because of your brothers? Do you feel like you're more privileged? Do you, you know, what goes All right, on? It, it, <laughs> it, it, it has pros and cons, mm -hmm. you know? It's good and it bad. The, 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 the good thing about it is that, um, being such a such a such a person, um, a brother of such a person, is like um, you tend to get a certain respect, mm -hmm. but at the same time, certain respect is taken. You, you find you find so you have to work harder to step out of a shadow that's so big, you know. But at the end of the day, as long as I put the work in, mm -hmm. I make a name for myself. Okay. The shadow uh, will be easy to step out of. But um, it it. Generally, not really pose such a big issue for me. And how do you feel you stand out? From the music, actually, mm -hmm. my music speaks for itself. The, the style is recruit. Okay. Yeah, nobody has this style, you know. And how did you come up with the name recruit? Recruit. Well, it was just messing around on Facebook, actually. Yeah. Yeah, getting the getting the fans involved, and because it was originally spelled the correct way, you know. Okay. R E C R E Y T. But when people search for me on, like. Google or something, law enforcement and military stuff pop up. So we'll play with the spelling and we'll, you know, get the people I'm involved and we'll come up with something catchy. R I K R O O T, you know? What would you say is the biggest misconception that your fans have? For me? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think I'm this cocky guy, you know? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, um, some people go as far as to say that I'm intimidating because I'm a fierce. You know, so I'm kind of semi conscience fierce. In a straight and, face. Yeah, that's right. So, but, but that's like far from the truth. I'm, I'm like the most open guy you can come talk to me, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to come say, hey, hey Wagwan. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all good. So, what do you want your fans to know about you since they might think that you intimidate them? Or well, pretty much, you know, see me on road. Don't be afraid to say hi, you know. I will never shun anyone because all, all people right now that have two ears is a potential fan of recruit. Of course. So we're good. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as your music, mm -hmm. what message do you try to give? All right. Now that in we're in twenty fourteen, mm -hmm. it's more so of a, of a more level headed type of message I'm trying to send. Like, cause we we'll find that in the world that we're living in today, it's like so many things, so many crazy stuff going on. Mm -hmm. We find that because nobody's trying to change anything. You know, so nobody's talking about it. People turn the blind eye. Yeah. It keeps on going on. 
So and I'm no no the the, the 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 steps I'm taking with my writing is like I'm writing about the the deadbeat fathers, you know. I'm writing about the bad mind people and a bad mind will never stop. Yeah. Shamefully. For say, shame for say, but bad mind will never stop. You understand? So I I try to relate to the people on a real level, you know. Okay. So the party party this and floss and drink and that's not recruit. You understand? Okay. Yeah, recruit at the, the bread away can level with her uh, easily, you know. Me God bless, so me no fear them. Me no fear them who are they. Them can't fight them, eh? Lord, 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 boy. Yeah, hear me? Look how them are dirty and mucky like it's soaking a mud. Look how them yeah red like them soaking. Them see we are rude, them not sure we no love Cause them want to see me close, I swear in the blood But me no make that to worry me The Almighty protects on a peer gun can't shovel me Out of my life, them can't hustle me In a no world, none of them can't shovel me Sing that one, yeah, we no afraid of them Sing that one, yeah, loud like the national anthem We no afraid of them Pan a dirty aunt, we a bone a fire on them We no afraid of them from your God bless, put your one up in a deal Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not Aye. them, not the hard boy, they win no fear So what you know, enough of them who want see me stretch out Dead and lifeless, pon the cool concrete No of them a chat, say them a real friend But behind your back, you take your life No of them a plan for it, yeah Them can't put no fear in a me heart Jack guide me steps any time me a walk So make them go and hide in a the dark I try give me chat, but me no fear them dark Sing that one you loud like the national anthem We no afraid of them Pon a dirty aunt we a bone a fire on them We no afraid of them From your God bless put your one up in a the ear Sing that one you loud and clear Me, me no tell them not to have yeah, what they yeah. no fear Alright then Me no afraid, me no afraid, no Me no afraid, me no afraid, no Me no afraid, me no afraid, me no afraid I have to be in a, a um, an environment that's conducive to writing. So mm -hmm. that means no noise, okay, no stress, you know, no no clutter, mm -hmm. pen and paper, enough paper at that, you know. And then like I have to have like a good five hours to get at least some quality lyrics written down. You understand? So pretty much, you give me all of that, I can knock out an EP in a month. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Management, management, they bought the same can't tell. So. How do you feel about the team that you work with? All right, my team now that I work with is a is a team of like they stress professionalism. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that if I'm going out to events and stuff, or if I'm in the studio getting work done, mm -hmm. it's like they push me to a point where I have no choice but to give a hundred. Mm -hmm. You know. So if I'm out, they make sure you recruit. I look like recruit. You understand? Know Fear sat out and ear sat out and wardrobe sat out. If I'm in the studio, they make sure the environment in the studio is good for recruits so recruit can do his job. Okay. You understand? So when I'm out doing the interviews, you don't know, we have the people going back and forth, setting up, making sure that dialogue is kept, so no confusion going. Okay. You understand? So yeah, they're doing their job. So they're a reflection of me. When, when they're good, I'm good. Okay, good. Yeah, now, when did you first start 
getting into music? Back in 2005, okay. when um, um, Conscience and Delos, they had their first single in um, Japan, mm -hmm. and they came back. And when I saw a video of one of their shows over there, you know, Japanese people, all they speak is Japanese. Yeah. And they're singing these guys' song word for word. Oh, wow. So, you know, so the music are powers. So when I saw the kind of effect that the music has on people that don't even speak English, that's so weird. Um, that, this is something I would like to do. This is the this is the type of influence. If you can have that great influence over people like that, mm -hmm. with just music, and you want to use it to a, to a negative, um, a positive light. Sorry, a positive light. So, yeah, it only natural for me to remember that them and them at the time they were my, like my role models. Okay. So it only natural for more of the music too. You know? I read that Dennis Brown is one of your favorite yes. artists. Dennis Was Brown. he also an influence? More so, more so, just one of my favorite artists, my mm -hmm. favorite artist, favorite singer of all time, mm -hmm. favorite performer, favorite vocalist is Barry Salman. Okay, yeah. he's very good. Very yeah, good. Barry Salman, all the time. If there was anyone that you could perform with or open up for, I know you have done shows and performances, mm -hmm. who would it be? Like to make my day mm -hmm. for Barry Salman calling me and say, oh, Riku, come sing our song for me. Well, yeah. hopefully that could be in the works we'll in the see. future. We'll you know? see. Mm -hmm. So over the past few years mm -hmm. in your music career, what are some successes, some mistakes, and any advice that you have for your fans? Alright, well, success is pretty much is like, and, and, uh, um, I realize that as I progress, it's, it's like more than last month. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm getting songs done more than, more than I was getting last month. I'm like, I'm getting shows now. People are taking notice to who Recruit is, okay. you know. We get the one and two bookings, you know. So people are starting to acknowledge Recruit as an artist in himself, as a, a original, you know. Okay. Um, more so we're getting a lot, of, a, lot of, um, a lot of press, a lot of media. So I'm, getting, I'm being seen. Last year it was more so packaging, you know. Okay. Yeah, so. This year, I know it's like I'm out. People are seeing recruit, and people are taking interest. Mm -hmm. So it's like um, one of the greatest um, successes for me, though, is getting a Pandora channel. Okay. You know, yeah. So you know, yeah, you know, me going with that little thing to get that Pandora. So you know, mm -hmm. um, also my Vivo account that I have. Mm -hmm. You know, these are things that I've never had before. Okay. So when I when I signed to Palm Tree Flow Records, it's like they were so paperwork and professional. It's like it opened doors for me to have stuff as an artist, mm -hmm. you know. So like don't to do, don't to do, um Shazam that that's that little app on, on the um the phones, the Androids and iPhones mm -hmm. where you could sing a line from a song or something and the song pops up. Okay. Yeah, like they did that with one of my songs, Sweat. Okay. Uh, yeah. That made me feel so good. You know, so yeah, but um, mistakes now is more like pretty much music is trial and error. Yeah, like I oh, try this, it not gonna work. I oh, try it, not gonna work. More so, it's like um, pretty much the directions we take in terms of marketing. Because right now, music changes so frequently, mm -hmm. you never know where to hit at what particular time, so you know, you have to Very perfect. True. and the your P's and Q's, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like typical mistake where artists will make, art, you, know, my, you know, my position, new artists, you know? Mm -hmm. But we use them as learning process. Mm -hmm. All these things teach me so I don't make the same mistakes again, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Girl, I wanna see you sweat yeah. Me love when your body does a drip water I'm gonna make you act like you in a sauna So be a big up mobile like you got lava When your body get wet yeah. Be a big up wind up your body for me 
you watch the power in for the phone for me Let me check me watch if I six thirty Girl, me want to see you sweat Sweat, 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 sweat Me want to see you sweat, sweat, sweat Be a break and me want to make your body get wet Yeah, yeah, me Be a bit see the poor, yeah Come on, pan it slow, girl Get freaky if you want to Me love when you lose control, girl Be a bit come rub down me chest If it a sweet, you grab up me neck After me talk, girl, you close up a pop Cause you a go get something where you not go forget, girl Cause I know the things you like So good love me, you bring tonight Hot, hot water, now stop run off of your skin tonight Girl, I wanna see you sweat Me love when your body just a drip water I'm gon' make you act like you in a sauna So be a big come bubble like a lava When your body get wet Be a big come wind up your body for me Do a strip of wine for the phone for me Let me check me watch if I six thirty Girl, me want see you sweat Sweat, 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 sweat Me want see you sweat, yeah, sweat, yeah Be a big come in warm, make your body get wet Be a big me want to feel wine it slow Bring it down low, balance when you tip on your toe Wind up your body for me smooth and nice Bubble upon the edge and make it roll like dice Queen sit on me baby Make me sweat like a fret, me a fret Put it on me like say you never put it on a man yet baby Let me say oh yes girl Girl me love it when you wheel it Put it on me, make me feel it Take it girl Girl I wanna see you sweat Me love when your body just a drip water I'm gon' make you act like you in a sauna So be a big come bubble like a lava When your body get wet Be a big come wind up your body for me Do a strip of wine for the phone for me Let me check me watch if I six thirty Girl, me want to see you sweat Sweat, 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 sweat Me want to see you sweat, sweat, sweat Be a big come and want to make your body get wet Yeah, yeah, give me that wine then Be a bit Give me that wine then Yeah, give me that wine then you know. Alright then Girl, give me that wine then <laughs> Baby, give me that wine then <laughs> Yeah, me love that wine then Yeah Girl, I wanna see you sweat Me love when your body just a drip water I'm gonna make you act like you in a sauna So be a big come bubble like a lava When your body get wet Be a big come wind up your body for me I wash the power in for the phone for me Let me check me watch if I six thirty Girl, me want to see you sweat Sweat, 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 sweat Me want to see you sweat, sweat, sweat Be a break and me want to make your body get wet Yeah What advice could you give me like I'm up and coming also? What would you tell me? Prepare for a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of things not going your way. There's going to be a lot of disappointments. You understand? But the most thing you must have as an artist, the most the, the, the thing you must have the most as an artist mm -hmm. is a strong will. Okay. You see, if you you see if you are weak, you will quit. Yeah, this music is a hard business. My brother didn't tell me. My manager tell me. You understand? My team tell me, the cultural thing. If you do not have the will for success and the drive for it, you will get swallowed up by this business. You understand? I must always remain humble. A humble heart soak up the most knowledge. Okay. Yeah. So as long as you have them thing in your head, you should, have, you should be good. <laughs> I watched some um, behind the scenes mm -hmm. of your Afraid of Them video. Mm -hmm. And Nigel Angus said that you were a diamond in the rough and mm -hmm. he was lucky to catch on to you. How is it working with him? Yeah, it's been good because of him. I, I, give, I give credit where credit is due. Because of him, no recruit is out on people as a recruit. Okay. Before, before Nigel and Palm Tree flow, mm -hmm. it was more like conscience brother that's a flow drone. Mm -hmm. and even then, people even, didn't even know conscience had another brother. Oh, you understand? Okay. Yeah, because I wasn't really out like that. I didn't have anything to present to anybody mm -hmm. until I sign up with Palm Tree Flow Records. So, I might give them credit when they put the work in, you know? Okay, so let's get right into your EP, the introduction. Mm -hmm. right. How did you come up with that title? Alright, the introduction is, was like 
basically my first project. My first project that we're presenting to the world, telling people that, yo, this is recruit. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is what he's capable of doing. Okay. So when we were in the studio, we were recording like a, a whole lot of songs. And at that point, when we started the international type of songs, you know, the reggae pop, we did a lot of those, mm -hmm. but I was also doing the reggae. Okay. So we came together and we said, you know what, let's try to play with the, the songs a little bit. Let's not just put all reggae pop or all dance on a reggae, let's try to blend it. Mm -hmm. So we just blended a little of the reggae pop, you know, blend a little of the reggae, a little of the dance song. So it's, it was more like the team came together and picked some songs, you know, just to test the waters and see which song we pick up. And at the end of the day, the songs on the CD would let people know what I'm capable of. Mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, that's basically it. What's your favorite song? On the EP, mm -hmm. it's um, Free Letter. That it's basically a song that lets people know that bad mind is active. Okay. At the end of the day, as long as your heart is clear and you're doing what you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. nobody can stop you from doing what you're doing. You know, so. so that's my favorite song right there. Do you remember what you were going through while you were, you know, developing this song? Alright, no, I I'm the kinda I'm the kind of writer where I don't necessarily, even though I do go through stuff like that, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't necessarily have to be in a situation to write about okay. it. I can see it or hear about it mm -hmm. and then just write based on a scenario. Okay. You understand? Because, like, the song in itself, I know for them, once I stretch out, dead and lifeless, pan the cool concrete. A lot of people right now have that one person walking around that would love to see them dead. Yeah. So the song in itself is relatable, you know? So it's not like great thought, like for saying, you know, on my life, maybe right, but maybe right, but everybody did, mm -hmm. isn't it? Nice. Mm -hmm. So what are you currently working on? All right, right now, the 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 main thing I'm working on right now is um a compilation album. Okay. It's titled um, Recruit and Friends. Okay. We don't have a set release date yet, but it's all packaged up and ready to go. Yeah, I did see. You know. Um, so yeah, promotion kind of start feet already. We're not really going at yet. Mm -hmm. Besides that, I have a single out titled "Little One," and this is basically what I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. It's like basically it's a song for for fathers that know that they're good fathers, isn't it? Okay. Because we we big up the mother them all the time, but nobody ever big up daddy. When daddy forget big up, you know what I'm So that song is basically saying what a good father is capable of and should be doing. Yeah, that song is, is a song again relatable upon a street level. You know? oh, yeah. um, otherwise, um, I'm actually working on another project with a French BS producer, mm -hmm. Nico, Nico. So big up Nico from from uh, Rio de Islands. Um, also, I just did a I just did a collaboration with Cali P. Oh wow! Yeah, do a collaboration with Delos. Mm -hmm. Do a collaboration with Dario. These songs, we have to go, we have to go figure out how to release them because the song them tough, them nice, you know. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so yeah, um, a lot of things in the works right now. Um, I'm more so just looking to get back in the studio. Okay. I keep on doing what I do. You know? Do you have any upcoming shows? Yeah, I have a, a show in Philadelphia. Okay. March eighth, I think. Yes, March eighth. Um. That is actually a show I'm looking forward to because I had a show last night. Oh, wow. Yeah, I had a show last night. Um, major movement, it was all black affair. Oh, yeah. The show was um, in Long Island, the Vault Cafe. So, you know my boy Jimmy Anderson, big up Yak Radio. Yeah, it's like, it was crazy because the whole, like about 95% mm -hmm. of that whole crowd was Haitian. Yeah. You understand? Know and there may be a 2% Trini. 3% Jamaica, you understand? <laughs> so, the fact that they took on to me with the music that I'm, I'm, I'm singing, like, yeah, it, it feels good, yeah. you understand? So, yeah, so big up, big up, um, um, major movements again. And then, um, like I said, the show on March 11th, I'm not doing a lot of shows, more so I'm trying to, like, get in the studio and get the songs done, okay. you understand? But, um, for this year, for this year, it's more so a push of the, the single, Little One. Okay. Yes, and that's what I'm pushing for the first quarter right now. And then um, it's going to be a lot of 
road, a lot of appearances here. We're going to be all over promoting the single, promoting recruit. Okay. You know, the team over the road, a lot, a lot of road. You know? okay. So that's what's going on. So is there anything that I didn't ask or something that you want to address or someone you want to shout out? No, man. Like, like I said, just keep looking out for the EP that's on um, Amazon and iTunes, titled The Introduction. Also look out for the compilation album. It's titled Recruit and Friends. It's gonna it's gonna have artists featured on there like Dario Delos, you understand? Cali P, Milan, Stacious, Charlie Blacks, all them big people, they understand. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be fire, you know? I want to thank you so much for taking the time out to come chat with me. Um, I look forward to all the music that you're going to put out in the future. Mm -hmm. And for our viewers, make sure you go and get the introduction. Go to Amazon. This is a great artist. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fathers of the world, it's time for us to take responsibility. Yeah. Me say you can't lift the load on your baby mother. You can't left the load pan your wife. It's time for us to be in our children's life. Yeah, me say me a fist here, strong family go on. I need to be a good father and nothing less than me a fist here, strong family go on. Cause for me picnic could raise by no next man, me a fist here, strong family go on. I need to stay rooted and firm as a man May a fist stay a strong family go on We need to keep them away from destruction Well you not hear me now As a father it no easy But the youths are deep in power Alright then Some boy breed woman and run away But them youth they different from me Cause I will make sure that my little one stay happy And I will be there when she learn to say daddy Enough boy can mix baby family No for them no know how to change baby nappy So me prefer dead before the next man raise me youth Lord me ya tell you no the truth Simply Kells